four days of driving at 730 kilometers. That's crazy, because before last week I was three days. To help avoid going to that fuel pump for one extra trip, watch this video right now. Hello and welcome to an exciting episode of Self Down Garage. If you want to be like me and you want to get more fuel economy and potentially net yourself another 100 kilometers. How to convert kilometers into miles. 100. How to get yourself another 62 miles to your tank and watch this video and find out not just one but five ways five tips to save you money we're gonna help keep you away from that gas station so it doesn't keep hitting you in the wallet unfortunately I can't do anything about prices if I could there's a lot of other things I would be doing step number one drive slower here I am in a hundred zone doing 55 kilometers an hour. Oh, full disclosure, I don't actually recommend driving 50 in a hundred zone. Yep, that's gonna get you great fuel economy. Anything under 90 kilometers an hour is gonna get you better fuel economy because it's gonna take less resistance for your vehicle to get through the air. Tip number two, set your cruise control. It's already set up here. Turn on cruise control. It automatically turns on my lane centering. Oh dear. Oh yeah, it's gonna slow down because the guy's too close. Okay, so now we've got this all set up and we can cruise at a good pace. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> there we go. If you are doing one constant speed, it's easier for your vehicle to stay at one speed than to have to go up and down obviously spending more money in fuel as you increase your throttle. Tip number three, see if you can get behind somebody and draft them. This here is considered drafting. The closer you get to a vehicle, the more it presents itself as tailgating, sir. But if you draft somebody, they're punching through the air, just like NASCAR, but that technically is tailgating. You can follow somebody, not create more drag, because someone's already doing it for you. Step number four, you wanna make sure that you're doing the speed limit. I know, it kills me too. Drive the speed limit just absolutely kills me. The speed limit says 70 kilometer an hour, so it's just about 40 mile an hour, so do that speed limit. I know it's hard. I know you might be like, but I wanna listen to me. Doing the speed limit is good for you. It might not be good for the guy behind you, and it might be hard to get used to, but it's good. If you have a newer vehicle, it will tell you how your fuel economy is. So like my Ford, for example. The Ford will have a star on the dash, as you see here, that will, will change. If you start to drive more aggressively like this, it drops out. So you wanna keep it in that range. That's gonna get you your best fuel economy, hands down. Step number five. This one's specifically for manuals, but there is a little bit for those who have automatics and they have a newer system. So for me, it's keeping my RPM shifts at 2000 RPM. Approaching 2000 RPM, fourth gear. Fifth gear. If you do that, you're not burning a lot of fuel, you're not speeding because you sure cannot speed shifting at 2000 RPM. It will help your fuel economy. If you have a fancier vehicle or newer, it may have a mode select and you can select eco mode. And on my Ford Explorer, it looks like this. From the driver's seat, look down to your driver's mode and you can select different modes. I would go with Eco. So you select the eco mode and it automatically makes it harder for your right foot to be as responsive as you're used to. I hope these tips helped you to save money on fuel. We're at empty. I don't know if you can see that. We're at like 700 and 724 kilometers. I'm on fumes now. I probably should be shutting things off actually. So from these five driving habits, this is how I was able to get 
four days of driving at 730 kilometers. That's crazy, because before last week I was three days. So thanks for watching this episode of Southdown Garage. If you like this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Thank you guys, have a wonderful day, take care.